Hello, hello, everybody. My hey. name is Carlos Luna, and I am joined with Victoria Rogers. Hello. <laughs> Today we're going to be going <laughs> over uh, <laughs> Roll20, learning Roll20. Uh, yeah. How are you, Victoria? We had a little bit of time to talk yeah. uh, beforehand. Yeah, I'm I'm really well. I'm uh, I I got to get outside today. It was gorgeous out. Went for oh. a big old walk. Yeah. Um, because I'm in Canada, so it was like 14 degrees Celsius. I don't know. 14 times two is 28 plus 32. That's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that how you do that? First of all, is that, yes. you, is that the math behind it? That how is do you the do, math. I need to know. I, I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even care about roll 20 right now. I need to know this. I, Cause I think about this all the time. First of all, I can never remember which temperature I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be working in uh, <laughs> until it looks wrong until it feels wrong, I guess. But so what is the calculation for? Okay, so if I'm going to from Celsius to Fahrenheit, um, it what I would do is I multiply it by two. So 14 times two is 28. Okay. And then I add 32. 32. That's yes. so specific. I'm never going to remember that. It's now I know 32. why I didn't learn it in the beginning. Like it's because I'm just never going to remember 32. It, it's just remember 32. It's like 42, the answer to the universe, but <laughs> minus 10. Wait, it's like 42, the answer to the universe? What's that? What, you I'm have not... have you read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No. It's, oh, yeah. It's got, it's got a little green thing on the cover and it looks really, it's way too big. Seems a little, <laughs> seems a little too much. <laughs> too much for me the, well, according to the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy the you, the answer to the universe is 42 the answer to the universe is 42 okay that makes sense i was <laughs> doing i was doing other math today though uh not to get completely sidetracked from this uh i was doing other math on captain america uh <laughs> I woke up this morning angry at Captain America in Endgame uh, because he, he, okay, so Endgame, ha um, spoiler alert, uh, you know, he goes back in time or whatever, right? And then he just like gives up. He, he's not Captain America anymore. But that means he lives from 1945 to 2023 and he doesn't get involved in any of the stuff he sees. A lot of it he didn't know was going to go down, right? Mm -hmm. But then, so I'm a little upset at that, but I understand he has to keep the timeline right. But what I'm really upset about is I did the math and I actually looked it up. I, I put it on the <laughs> 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 I, I Is that a post. flow chart? I wrote, no, no, no. It, it's a timeline. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry. Anyone who's tuning in right now, this is not what the, the what we're supposed to be talking about. But I just got so distracted this morning. Uh, it, he was born in he was born in 1918. Okay? okay, he became Captain America in 1938. Right, so he was 21, 2021. 20, um, in 1945, he was frozen, and he was 27. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he was unfrozen in 2011, still 27. I don't care, whatever. He, he's 27. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then in Endgame, he's 39. So that means Captain America was only Captain America for 18 years. I have been working longer in my life than Captain America has. Mm -hmm. So I guess what I'm saying is... <laughs> okay. He gave up, Right. He gave up. I'm so angry. All that stuff about him being the first Avenger and how he's great and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. He gave up. Like, oh, like in, in the first Avenger, he's being tested as like this great person and like he'll never give up and blah, blah, blah. 18 years. That's all it took. He was 39. Can you imagine retiring at 39? I mean... <laughs> Okay, but to be fair, it's he's kind of like a football player in the fact that like you don't have a long career because your body just can't handle it. Captain America was in his prime I mean, in Endgame. I, I have nothing. <laughs> but I Carlos, nothing. he saved the world three times. Okay, he saved the world three times. There was a couple other ones. Okay, he could have he could have jumped in. <laughs> There's a bunch of other wars happening. I don't know. We're getting off the subject. Anyways, yes, today, learning roll 20. You're going to show are. me roll 20. You're going to show them and you're going to show mm -hmm. me roll 20. I am. Cool, cool. Well, what do we need to know about roll 20? 
Well, Roll20 is a virtual tabletop. <laughs> you can play all sorts of games on it, but today we're playing some D&D. Yeah, we're playing D&D. And you initially go to Roll20.net. That is okay. where you should start. Yeah, that's exactly where I am right now. I'm on Roll20.net. Okay. And we don't have to go through the entire process of creating a free account. I imagine if you're <laughs> if you're watching this on, you know, you, you have downloaded apps, you have logged into websites before, you know how to create a free account. Um, but yeah, we're looking at uh, the marketplace right now. I'm going to head over. So how do you, let's, we're starting from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. We're starting from the very beginning uh, of just like, you got Roll20, now what? Well, you got Roll20, you want to play Dungeons and Dragons. Now what? Now right? what? Yeah. Well, at that point, you decide, what do you want to run? Mm. Yeah, like, because you can run your own games, right? Mm -hmm. You can run your own homebrew, or you can make your own games, or you can purchase something, like, on the marketplace that, yeah. like, Dungeons and Dragons has made before. Yes. So I think for this one, we had talked, we said, well, let's do the essentials kit because there's two of us yeah. um, and we'll be playing a campaign and the essentials kit is really good for having one-on-one -on -one sessions with, especially with companions. So you're at the roll20.net welcome screen. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go up to the marketplace. Yeah. Yeah. So I've already done this, uh, um, before we started, but like, let's just search. Um, the do, essentials do, do, do. kit. Yeah, essentials kit. I've actually already purchased the essentials kit. Um, and then w let's say I, if I purchased it, it's in my account, I have it, I can create mm -hmm. a game um, directly from the essentials kit. Um, yeah. So you would just go to the top under games and click create game. Create new game. And it should show up uh, in your list. I am lucky enough to have everything uh, yeah in my list. So you, like, you're gonna have to scroll <laughs> yeah but there it is so it'd be as easy as like clicking it mm -hmm. and it loads everything for you um we have already set up our game though we have yeah but so. you would click on it and then you would name your game so the name of your campaign best um, game ever <laughs> That's why I named it best game ever. You named it best game ever. Okay. Yeah. So you click in there and you write in best game ever. Yeah. And we have our character sheets with uh, D and D five E. We are ready to go. You are ready. Yeah. So create we would click, game. I'm ready. Create the game. Da, da, da. Awesome. Uh, and now it, I'm on a launch screen. So it would tell you like, Oh, you can launch this game or you can, do some custom yeah. add-ons, some token markers. We'll get into that later on another episode. Mm -hmm. um, how to like really customize your game, uh, how to add more stuff from the marketplace and like kind of, you know, put all the bells and whistles on it. Um, make it fancy. Yeah, make it super fancy. Um, but we're j I'm just going to launch uh, the game that we had set up. So mm -hmm. it's just you bought, you went to Roll20, you got a, you got a module uh, from the marketplace or maybe you started your own game. And now you are um, in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you do a press launch game. Now, Carlos, people watching, Carlos actually went up to the top screen and went to his essentials game, which was not the game that he just created. Normally, you would just go to the big red button or yeah. pink button that was right underneath where you named it launch game. Correct. Yeah. And yeah, normally you would just do that. Um, do, do, do. Sorry, I got a little distracted with uh, <laughs> the, 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 the chat. Uh, if you guys have questions, let us know. Um, I'll be, we'll be uh, checking in and out uh, on the chat. If yeah, you're you guys... being called out for not having read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Am I really? Is it oh, really? Yeah. Do people really like that? I thought yes. it was like I thought it was like one of those books that like you know only like someone said you lost nerd points. Oh well, that's good. Uh, <laughs> I feel like those have been holding me back. Those are like weights on me. <laughs> like, uh, if anyone's wondering, nerd points each weigh twenty pounds. Uh, so oh. you carry, yeah, you carry them around everywhere you go, uh, and that's why nerds don't leave the house because they're carrying these huge weights the entire time. Uh, it's too much. Yeah, it's, it's too just, much to handle. Too much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know what we're talking about, Victoria. We're talking about uh, we're we're, uh, we're, we're talking about the essentials kit. We just launched the game. Yeah, we just launched that game. So um, we have the game in here. So now, as the GM, Carlos. Yeah. What is it that you want to do? You probably characters for your players. Yeah, I think so. I think that's like one of the one of the first things you can do because like. Again, I guess in this scenario, we are uh, brand new to Roll20 and we want to get a game going like as soon as possible. Like mm -hmm. we're kind of be we're going to be going through a lot of things at, at, at a time um, on these episodes. Um, but I guess to like kind of get your players involved the quickest is to make characters for them. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think we should start there. OK, so let's let's make some characters. Sweet, my, sweet. What is it's honestly like my favorite part. Is it really? Is <laughs> of, make... of D D is creating characters. I now, love me, it. Now let me ask you this. Uh do you create like how do you usually run D D games? Like if you have to GM, mm -hmm. um, do you create all the character like a bunch of characters and have them choose? Or do you allow your uh players to create their own characters or work with you? Or is that like a hybrid of both where they work it, with you? It depends. It depends on the game. It depends on the scenario. Um, if I'm running a game for convention stuff or one shots, I might provide pre-gens, um, pre-generated characters that I have created um, and that people can choose from. If I am going to be playing a big long campaign, I'll often work with them. Mm um depending on their experience level too there's a recent campaign that i i just started we are maybe about four sessions in there we have two players who have never played really D, &D before so i walked through step by step by step with them uh others they've their old hat so i just let them go ham gotcha yeah and do you have any any like uh, restrictions, stuff that you just don't mess with, or you're like, ooh, like, uh, like modules or like things that are just like, okay, things get way too zany if we add in all this. Yeah, I will control which, like, if we're in Faerun, please don't select Ravnica stuff because it's a completely different setting. It's completely different everything. Um, so I try not to cross those. Um, but all the other stuff, I let them go. I like zany. Yeah. yeah I think zany's too. fun. I just yeah. generally let people have fun with it. And then, um, and why I like doing character creation first is because then I can model the campaign based on their characters. Oh, gotcha. So that way I know backstories and I know all those little tidbits and then I can grab from those and you know, thread them through the campaign and make sure that the campaign is geared towards the players and the characters that are that are being played. Gotcha. So you want that information first. Like, yeah, you want to have do. it first before you even start creating your world yes. so you can play with people. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, because um, I've done I've done both and like they all they both have similar feels to it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know why I always prefer to making my own character when I feel like I always have like more fun when I'm given something that I didn't really think about. I guess it depends on like what type of mood you're in, you know? Yeah. Um, I did notice someone in the chat mentioned they usually start with session zero. Uh, we will be going over that in this series. Uh, yes. We wanted to dedicate an entire episode uh, to session zero. Yeah. Um, so we will be doing that um, yes. coming up. But uh, Session zero, very important. Super Probably important. the most important session you will have. Yeah, I, yeah, I believe so. Uh, we're coming very close to getting into it right now, too, because I want to talk about it. I can tell, <laughs> I know. I can tell you wanted to talk about it, too. And I was like, oh, yeah, we should. Oh, uh, no, we no. Got, uh, let's talk about Captain America a little bit more. Uh, yeah, Captain, you know, OK, I have not seen the films. Any of them? None. OK, chat, please. Chat. I know. I know. I, so I wait, have read on. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you though, would and have read yes. all of the books. You went after me for Hitchhiker's Guide, but you have not participated in the Zeitgeist for <laughs> for like twenty years <laughs> or twelve years or whatever. Wow. Well, um. Um. I I saw some of the the X Men films. Does that count? No, it really doesn't. Let's get back. Let's get back to learning Roll Twenty real quick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roll Twenty. 
Yeah. So um, I what am I? I'm looking at a, a screen right now. I got a toolbar on the left hand side that has a bunch of quick action stuff, and then I have this sidebar on the right. Um, mm -hmm. and today we're going to be focusing on um, the third button, uh, which is um, the journal. A tab. little journal. Yeah. So it looks like a little newspaper. Yeah, Maybe I have it. So you want to create a character for me. So now this is a lot of stuff. We don't need any of that information right now. What we want to do is press the button add. Yeah. Plus add, because this add. will allow us to add a handout, something that you share with your players. Because now do I click character or do I click handout? You click character. Character. Cool. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I got this page. It says uh, edit and it's got a weird name. Like I didn't even put this name in. It just generated uh, a character name for me. Yes, I, it I, does. I, now at this point, what I usually do, especially if I'm creating characters um, for people, um, I might have asked them ahead of time, what sort of character do you want to play? Hmm. Um, and I don't like naming characters for other people myself gotcha. so i put the player name in there and then i let the okay. players later on add the name that they want okay i'm gonna put please name in there <laughs> uh, <laughs> that works too yeah and there's uh okay so there's right underneath it, it says in player's journal um what goes there so in the player's journal, let me just open this up on my end too oh i can see it on twitch so in player's journals so you want to add it to your players who are located in. Now, if you have just created this Roll20 game and your players haven't joined it yet, you're not going to be able to assign this to anyone oh, in particular. Gotcha. Um, because until the person has joined the game, you're not going to be able to do anything. So gotcha. if this was just you by yourself, you would leave that alone at okay. this time. But and since when, I'm already here. Yeah. Um, you would put the broadswords because that's me. Cool. So from that drop down menu, you would select that. Gotcha. And then the one below it can be edited and controlled by. So okay. the first one puts it just so they can view it. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is so it can be edited and then controlled. Yes. Gotcha. So that so also would be. Yes, that button. would also be me. Gotcha. And then tags. Is this like, um, why, why tags? Uh, well, so that you it's searchable and you can find it very okay. quickly. So you might want to put the player's name or the player character's name, whatever, whatever gotcha. it is that you want to tag it so that you can easily search for it. Cool. I tagged it with broadswords. Um, okay, that works. Just in case I need to pull it up because there's a lot of stuff on your right hand side. Like as you're building a campaign, you'll start adding more pages into the journal. There'll be more characters, there'll be more settings, there'll be like bad guys in there. Uh, so you could easily search at the top um, in the search bar right here in the right corner um, for the broad search thing. Okay, what else do we got? We got avatar, defi default token, um, bio and info, GM notes. You do anything with these right now? At this point, I don't. Yeah, you just want to set up the a template for someone to work on, basically. Yes. Right? Okay. Um, and then later on, maybe in a campaign, if I have specific notes that I want to add about this character, because maybe they dropped a piece of information just through role play, and I want to remember it, I'll add all of my notes in there because I'm the only person who can see it. Um, because maybe I want to bring back in that long lost brother they just haphazardly mentioned. Let's have a family reunion. Gotcha. But until then. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, so I could just save it then, right? Yep. You just save, save changes. Okay, cool. And I got this blank page where bio and info, I imagine if I put anything in there, it would show up, uh, Mm -hmm. And then character sheet. Yep. Um, so you go over to the tab on okay. the right, click character sheet, and that will give you the option to use the character mancer, which, which we want to use. So let's gotcha. use the character mancer. So there's basically um, like 
three ways to do this. There's the character mancer, which is basically a wizard type of thing. Not a, like a real wizard, like a, <laughs> sorry, the term, the program the terminology. Wizard. Yeah, the software wizard uh, that walks you through step-by-step -step, uh, process of building a character. Uh, you could also just make a char an NPC really quickly, or mm -hmm. you could edit the sheet directly. So if you know all the numbers, you know how to, you know, roll and want to, you know, put it in by hand, uh, mm -hmm. you can edit your sheet directly. But right now we're going to yeah. use the character. We're going to use the character mancer because that's also handy for if, let's say, someone is using a subclass that's in a, let's say it's a subclass from sword, the sword, the sword coast adventures guide okay um but you don't own that on roll 20 but you let's say you own the book oh yeah yeah, yeah. so this way it's not going to show up in your character mancer because you don't own it but you do have the book so then you can go manually put something in yes and that's also what's really good about this system is because okay say you you know, own the book, but you don't want to buy it digitally, or maybe you can't afford it right now, but you have access to this information mm -hmm. that does not stop you from using it in the program. You have, you can enter it manually. So you'll always have stuff available or tools available for you to play the game you want to play. Um, mm -hmm. So that's also really good about the system, but uh, I do have that book. So I will <laughs> click uh, use the character, character Mancer. Cool. I had this little page character mancer with a wizard hat on the sea. Uh, see, and it's a wizard. Yeah, it's you a wizard. Were right. It's a real wizard. Uh, I'm going to click next and we'll get started on this. So, what should we make? What should, this is uh, the character mancer. Yeah, um, and this is the character I get to play. Yeah. Oh, let's make. Okay, I love barbarians. So, it will be a barbarian. Um, a gnome barbarian. Let's make a gnome barbarian. A gnome barbarian. Okay, yeah. we're going to start with race. So we'll start with gnome. Um, and we click that and release it, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Uh, alignment. Hmm. What do you usually play? I usually play lawful neutral. Yeah. I like lawful neutral because I, I like. So what do you think? Should I go out of my box? I always play neutral good. I almost either yeah. lawful good or neutral good, like almost mm. always. I yeah, I'm always chaotic neutral or lawful neutral. I can't hang on to that evil. I can't hang on to it. Like I tried in role playing. I'm just, I'm not good at it. I just can't. <laughs> I, it doesn't come natural to me. Lawful neutral. I, or, or, yeah, lawful neutral. Let's be a lawful neutral barbarian. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, gnome cunning subrace. Mm. Deep gnomes, forest gnomes, um, rock gnome. I once Let's... played a, a punk rock gnome in a game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. That. That's fine. Let's be a forest gnome. Forest gnome. Cool. Um, yeah, and we're going to click next on that. And you want to be a little barbarian, little tough guy? Yeah, I want to be a little, little barbarian. Yeah. I, whenever I think of like gnome barbarians, I always think of like pugs. Have you ever picked up a pug uh, and it just squirms and it's all muscle? Like a pug is just all muscle. Uh, that's that's what I always think of. That's you know. adorable. Yeah. I, I did not think that before, but now I'm going to think that every time. <laughs> uh POC in TTRPG, Carlos is a soft, uh, is too soft a bean for evil. I am a soft bean. Uh, <laughs> uh, skill proficiencies. What, uh, what is your, what is your little gnome proficient in animal handling, athletics, intimidation, nature, perception, mm. survival? What do you think? Okay. Perception, because I always use perception. That is one thing that I will always metagame on. Yeah. I know. I know. It, yeah, and that's but the thing. I do. If you're going to do it, you might as well own up to it, right? You might as well I, just like build it in your character and not just like It's my favorite skill. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I I you know, it's What's just, your second favorite skill? What else are we a profession in? Animal handling. Okay. Yeah, cuz I want to pet all the dogs. <laughs> Do you throw in a lot of animals in your games? Uh, 
Oh yeah. Do you really? I yeah. I like never remember to. I think that says a lot about a person, right? Like if they're willing to throw in animals into their campaign. <laughs> I yeah, I just I, do. I, I do you have pets? I don't have pets. I do. I have a dog. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, don't I have, have a pets. dog. Dad. I can barely take care of like plants. Uh, oh, I'm work, I'm I've gotten better at plants actually. Oh. I've awesome. got a whole. Well, you can't see because there's a giant screen behind me now, but I have a whole corner full of plants that I have not killed. That's awesome. It just makes you feel better when you don't, when you see them all the time. And it makes me feel really good when I remember my plans. Like it makes me feel like, oh, I'm on top of my stuff today. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I fed you some water. Yeah. Uh, a bit, yeah. You know that thing I fed myself 10 times today? Well, <laughs> well. I rem three days ago. Uh, <laughs> ability just score method. So this is um, yes. This is this is you know a lot of people have a lot of opinions on this. Mm -hmm. uh, standard array, roll for stats, point by or a custom. I've, what would a custom be? I've never done a custom before. How would like those? Those seem like the three main ones. Mm, I guess custom is if you're creating the character as a GM and you want them to have specific stats. Okay. Oh, like something outside of any of these, I guess. Yeah. 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 You just want to type them in. What do you do? Um, I usually do point by or standard array, either or. Okay. Or okay. if I'm feeling really nice, I ask people to roll for drop the lowest. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty much the best. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what do you want to do for this character? Let's. Well, you have point by up there, so let's yeah. let's let's stick with the point by. Except you're gonna make. Oh, it it. I don't have to do the math. Yeah, you don't have to do the math because, like, I mean, that's the really good part. So it gives you an available point. Uh, your available points are right up there. So as we start clicking on stuff, uh, yeah, you'll see it drop down. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, um, what I would like to do, though, yeah, strength for sure. 100%. I want strength at 15, please. Okay. All the way. All the strength. <laughs> Put it up to 11. Okay. Uh, and I want 14 constitution, please. Oh, this is how you're going to do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello. I go in order. I... I Oh no, I, yeah. I I I, okay. I go by order of preference. And then wisdom, how many points do I have left? I have seven. Uh, I click this one on accident for you, but okay. you have way more than that. I could just okay. bring that down. Um wisdom at a twelve, please. Okay. And then the rest I don't really care about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> and the rest I don't really care about. So yeah, wait, yeah, hold on. How but many like, I I don't think, yeah. So let's All see. All right, let's have a, I have seven points. I right, hold on. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll just pick. I'll put your charisma at at a nine. <laughs> How about that? Is that 15, sure. 11, 14, 11, 12, and nine? How about that? That works. Yeah. This isn't. It's a very I mean, beefy, he's a very beefy boy or woman or person person yeah, yeah he, she, i think she she yeah. is very beefy um and you know what so she she's a little surly yeah <laughs> you know i think i think she's not surly she's just curt yeah i think she's like very straight and to the point and you know it, 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 sometimes like you need tact she just doesn't have tact yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, wants to get in. <sighs> Everyone's just wasting her time. She just wants to go home, sit down with her gnome creatine and, you know, <laughs> just have a relaxing day uh, <laughs> watching her, her YouTube videos. On yeah, I think feed. she knits. Oh, she knits. Yeah, she knits. Okay. Okay. She likes to knit. She, well, when you're trekking around in the forest, you want really warm feet. Yeah. So, you know, some good socks. So knitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that yeah, totally yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Love that. Um like with So I think we got our abilities. Yeah. Got got our abilities. Go into a background. Uh and is loading here. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, background. Yeah. So, like, there are a lot here. There are a lot. I have, like, everything in my account. <laughs> so do so, I. Like, so it unlocks, like, everything. Um, you know, what do you do you play? Do you? I, I, I don't know. I never select any of these. You know what I mean? Oh, like, really? I, I kind of. Oh, just, I always use them. I kind of just pick like kind of the same ones. You know, like I'm like a soldier or a charlatan or a criminal really? or yeah, kind of. Oh. I never like look into. I think because I don't know what the other what the other ones are like right off the top of my head. So like I just okay. feel embarrassed. But I guess I don't have to because I could just easily click any of these, right? Like, yeah, you can just click anything and it'll tell you exactly what oh, it is. That's yeah. the beauty. <laughs> okay, that's stupid. <laughs> I should have been doing that a long time and ago. And Amazon. I don't even know what that one is. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, I don't even know what that... Well, -H -H. I always go with Hermit, actually. You're always saying that you go with Soldier. Hermit. I always like Hermit. Yeah, hermit? I like Hermit. Because I love playing those weird people who live in the forests by themselves. Okay. They're just I, they're just fun. Okay. Okay. I feel you on that. I don't know why they're fun though. It seems I like, like them. Okay. Language proficiency. Mmm. I'm a gnome in the forest. So you already I... have common and gnomish. What else could you get? I think I'll speak Elvish. Elvish? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And what else we got here? Um, Life of Seclusion. We can roll for it, too. So that's really cool. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We can. Um, I always Look at hit that. roll. You just hit the roll button. Let's, let's do it. So roll. I was what searching I for spiritual enlightenment. Oh, yeah. And then you get to okay. hear that little button whenever there's a roll, <laughs> the little sound effect. Uh, personality traits. Roll for it or. Yeah, let's roll for it. Let's, let's roll see. for all of these. Let's figure out who you are after rolling for all of these. <laughs> uh, I connect everything that happens to me to. It sounds like me. Uh, to a grand cosmic plan. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am working on a grand philosophical theory and love sharing my ideas. Okay. Uh, free thinking, uh, in inquiry, and curiosity are the pillars of progress. Your character doesn't seem like they're that smart, so I'm just really wondering what they're very, you know, what they're <laughs> what they're so curious about. I'm wise, though. Okay. I'm wise. I'm still so seeking the enlightenment I pursued in my seclusion, and it still eludes me. Uh. Because when, I don't quite have the intelligence yes, that's to what back it is. the wisdom up. You don't understand. Uh, <laughs> I like keeping... Oh, also, your major flaw is I like keeping secrets and won't share them with, with anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's handy. Yeah. Well, that's working for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm going to click next on that guy. Okay. How would you like to choose equipment? Um, and here's uh, mm. here's the other thing. Right. Like these are mm -hmm. I love knowing this about you, too, because I'm like you could tell so much about a person based on like how they run their games. Right. Yeah. Uh, so how do you handle equipment? Do you class uh, equipment or do you have a starting wealth or? Um, I usually start with starting equipment and then they have the their starting gold. And then if they want to sell back, they can sell back at half. to get something better. Half, huh? Yeah. Oof. Okay. It's used. Okay. <laughs> it was your starting equipment. It's used. I mean, there's still a lot of life. We just took it off. We took it off the lot a couple hours ago. Uh, I don't know if it's lost. Man. <laughs> I don't know if it's depreciated. Half of the value. Uh, <laughs> nope. They get half of it. For okay. It. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's. Okay. I'm just going to choose class equipment. Um, and then. We'll just add those in. So what is your gnome's um, uh, weapon? Mm, um, <laughs> I would like a great club, please. A great club. I just want this little tiny gnome with a great big club. I, ha I don't have that option. I have great axe, great sword. I don't even have a club uh, listed oh. here. In 
What about hmm. a mace? A club? I have a club in, in uh, under the uh, simple weapon. Okay, I'll yeah. take that. So, but for my martial weapon, yeah. I guess I will take an axe or a <laughs> hammer if the hammer's there. Uh, unless it's called something else, there is no hammer. There's a mall. I'll take the mall, please. Yeah. Take the mall for sure. Those would not be weapons I would ever choose in real life, though. Right? I mean, it's it, just a giant stick. I know. And I feel like I could find those anywhere, especially in the forest. That's why it's so good. Yeah, but you can because find Because you can it. fight no matter where you are. But I can do that with, if I find a stick, I could fight with it. Not effectively. Well, I don't know. I feel like we're splitting hairs on this one. Like, I mean, a tree trunk or a stick? A tree? Hold on. Are you saying that a mall is much much the same as a tree trunk? It depends on the size of the tree. Well, yes, I know. That's the entire debate. <laughs> That's the entire debate, Victoria. <laughs> It's a sapling. What can I say? Okay. Yes. If it's a sapling. Okay. Um, we'll take that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that mall and club and I'm going to click next. Um, your forest gnome, you do have a minor illusion cantrip. So that's cool. Ooh. It also puts the spells on the right hand side. So if you're wondering, uh, you can always look at those things too. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're a barbarian. So, uh, feet represents accomplishment. Uh, you don't have any accomplishments yet, so click nope. next. Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a little baby barbarian. Okay. Uh, do you have a character name? Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever picked a name that wasn't fun. Like Quizzle. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> how do you how do you spell? Q U I Q U I Z Z E L Quizzle Quizzle hmm. My name is Quizzle Quizzle uh, Age mm, Quizzle has been working It's their life's work that they've been working on Yeah, so they're so. about 39 uh, They're old age uh, <laughs> Ready yeah. to retire <laughs> Did you just say 39 is old age? Oh, right, yes understood Cap captain america i got that well i was standing a little at heart because because i'm almost that oh god we're all almost that <laughs> uh <laughs> you mean captain okay. yeah i mean that'd be nice to retire next year mm -hmm. uh, not gonna happen so yeah um let let's say you know what? i'll be 39 let's immortalize 39 okay. height 39 weight oh. I'm two foot seven. Okay. And wait, I'm going to put mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, eyes, hair, skin. Eh. We could just go to the next section. I feel yeah. like, yeah, these are things that like. Mm. These are things that you can do. My hair is black with streaks of gray. I'm going to put. Salt Rogue and pepper. Hair. Oh, salt and pepper? Yeah. yeah, salt and pepper. But I'm going to put like salt and pepper. Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay, and I got this review page right now. Um, it shows, it'll show problems on this page if you skip something that's like important to the character sheet that it needs to do the math um, or even like little things that you might have missed, um, it'll show in there. But I am not getting any errors. So, so I'm that's gonna, good. We did it good. right. And we did I'm it correctly. Correctly. Just the proper grammar. <laughs> I'm going to click uh, apply changes. Yeah. That's and now what it's you should do. Building the character. Build, 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 build. The wizard is at work. Quizzle is made. <laughs> so Yay. we made our, our first character here. Um, and one of the most important things, if you get anything out of this, is it's, it's a question we get all the time, or, or people are very surprised all the time, is that you can click 
you can click on it and it will roll for you. Yes. Um, it's it's my favorite part of the character sheet on here. A lot of people don't know that. Like, I know they don't because I'm constantly walking people through it when we play games. Yeah, it's 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 really freaking cool. So it'll do. Yeah. Um, so let's show some of that stuff. Um, so if we look at our character sheet right now, uh, all your ability, all your skills, it looks just like the character sheet um, that you would normally have. Um, but one of the cool things is, oh, yeah, if we click on like mall, right? Um, <laughs> so I'm going to click mall. And uh, on the left hand, you get two rolls, basically. This is how this game is set up for two rolls. Just in case you're rolling with advantage or disadvantage, um, you'll get both of those at the same time. Uh, so the first one is obviously your first roll, and the second one is your second roll. Um, so yeah. yeah. And let's, let's say it was, uh, you know, it hits, right? So I go to swing in my axe, 16, does that connect? Yes. Um, Probably, especially at a level one. Yeah. That was a very good roll. Thank you. Quizzle. Thanks you. <laughs> uh, but the other thing is like, okay, well, how do I do damage? Well, in roll 20, you can literally just click mall um, in, in, the, in, the uh, in the chat and it'll roll for you uh, and show you what type of bludgeoning damage. And the other cool thing that I really like, and I didn't know this for a while. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, Quizzle came out swinging, right? Mm -hmm. It really is a tree trunk. It wasn't even, it wasn't a stick. It was no, a tree trunk. No, it wasn't a stick. Um, what I like about it, and I didn't know about this, but like if you hover, if you use your mouse to hover over things in the chat, like uh, in these automatic rolls, it'll break down um, what you actually roll to achieve that number. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you want to double check your numbers, um, it's a great way to. Mm-hmm. You know. And make sure, especially if you manually input your abilities and things like that, um, it'll make sure that you that you input it correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do do do. That's just because. Do do do. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted. I was reading uh, the chat. Yeah, I I was I was laughing because like thirty nine isn't very old for a gnome at all. No. But I've decided it's 39 in human years. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they have to do the conversion, much like we do the conversion of uh, Celsius and, and Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, and Fahrenheit. Uh, gnomes have to do the conversion in their head also. I don't know those. They. <laughs> I don't know them either. Um, yeah. So, okay. Let's talk about this. Um, so I, I, I got this character and let's say, um, what, what's the next step? What, what do I need to do next? Now you need to, in, well, at this point, you would invite people in okay, so that you can assign it. Now, we've already done that. We did that at the beginning. We assigned it. But um, that's what you would do if you're pre-generating your characters ahead of time. You would then invite people to join it. Um, so if you went to your chat menu, there's a link, a nice little link that people can use to join. So if you go to the chat toggle. Yes. So this is a little difficult because if I show it, then they get invite they can invite themselves. Well, they to can. Mine. So we'll pretend. <laughs> yeah. We'll do this, but where that blanked roll part is, yeah, is you would then when you click on it, it will show a link. So you would highlight that link, you copy it, and you you send it to your friends who um, who could then join in. Yeah. And then once they join in, you can then assign the character sheet like we did at the beginning to them. Yeah, so there's like a couple ways that you can invite people to the game as you go through these steps. Like mm -hmm. you can set up the game like we like we did. Um, you can make a character and then when you're ready, you can copy and paste this link and send it to them. Uh, you can start and create your game. And uh, before you even get into this section here, uh, there's another section that allows you to invite players through email. Uh, you can do that mm -hmm. or you could actually the link is there too. So you can even copy and paste that link and send it to them. However, like, you know, um, whatever, uh, it commu yeah, them. communication way that you have, like you could text them or AOL instant message. I don't know if you guys are on AOL <laughs> instant messenger still. ICQ. <laughs> you know, just put it on your live journal, whatever you want to do, like whatever yeah. form of communication is easiest Friendster. for, for your yeah, friendster. Uh, 
I love those things. Those mm -hmm. are like those are all my favorites. Um yeah, so yeah. you can do that. Um what else do we want to talk about in terms of this character sheet? I think that pretty much covers the character sheet yeah. for creating your character. Um now we can go into I think maybe a little bit later. Um Oh, yes, Kit Punker, a player can fill out the full sheet for the DM. We were just doing it from this perspective, but a player can definitely fill it out. Um, you would, at the beginning, just assign the person a character sheet, a blank one, and then they would then go in through it all on their own. Yeah. Uh, I'll Yeah, we did in the beginning, but I'll show you right now how to do that. Like, in case... Uh, someone else is GMing for the first time on Roll20 and you want to explain mm -hmm. it to them, uh, all yeah. they have to do is click on this uh, journal tab, click add, and then add character. And then in the in player's journal, they would add your name. And then in the can be edited and controlled by, they would also add your name. And then they just click save. And then it'll show up in your account um, mm -hmm. if you've been added to the game. So... Um, yeah, that's a question that we get all the time as well is, um, you know, where I'm a player. Why can't I create my own character? And you can. It's just, you know, the GM, the game master has to allow you to do that. Um, so some privileges need to be given um, to the player because mm -hmm. not everyone plays that way. So yep. it's it's an opt in type thing. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you guys have questions um, about you know the character mancer, anything that you do for that, also uh, we can show you real quick. Like, let's say we get into level two and we want to um, mm. you know update our character, um, we would click this little uh, gear icon on the character sheet, and um, you would click the launch level character mancer button. Um, yep, right and there then at the bottom. That that'll level you up. Um, you can choose what level you're going to, and then, you know, any added spells or any feats that you need to add, you can do it all through there. Yes, you can. Leveling up's fun. Yeah. And I get excited when I get to level up. Yeah. We need to get Carlos some grandpa sweaters. How dare you, sir? Uh... <laughs> Why? Why do I need to get grandpa sweaters? Oh, because of Friendster and remembering all that? That's probably what it is. Yeah, AOL Messenger. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I, mean, That's, I mean, those were solid picks. They were. I had Friendster. Yeah. And then when Facebook started to win out, I was really sad because all my friends were already on Friendster. I never used Friendster. I was oh, MySpace no. and I Live Friendster Journal. And MySpace. In remember, Live Journal. And Dead Journal. I remember when Dead Journal came out. No. I did not use Dead Journal. I wasn't cool enough for this. Yeah, apparently not. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, uh, we'll stay on the line a couple more minutes. Um, I feel pretty good about this. What's yeah, what's so next I week's um, episode? Uh, oh. Wrote it down. Uh, I think so it's a compendium. I Yes, it I, is yeah, it's compendium. the compendium. So we'll be going. So next week we're going to be going over the compendium uh, on roll twenty, and it's basically this really cool search um, area that kind of like breaks breaks all your books apart and like categorizes them um, and puts it in order from like classes and feeds and items, so you can like quickly look through things uh, instead of like picking up one book and then going to another and then picking up another book. Uh, you can quickly look through uh, this and search for things. So we're going to be going through that. We'll be going through the search options that it has um, and ways to mix and match different features. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think we did I think the we, thing. I think we did the thing also. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, Victoria. Thank you for doing this. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. It's pretty sweet. Um, guys, we will be here every Tuesday at 4.15 for a quick uh, roll learning Roll20 tutorial. Uh, please join us. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll be back next week. Yeah, same time. Same time. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.